Hey guys, what's up? This is Nate here back with another iOS 6 video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how well FaceTime works over cellular data. So now in iOS 6, you'll be able to initiate FaceTime calls, whether it be over a 3G, 4G, or LTE network. So if you head under FaceTime and settings, you'll see the new option to use cellular data. And this is a nice option to have because maybe you have a cap data plan and you don't want to waste it on initiating FaceTime calls. Uh, so currently I have two devices in front of me. The first is an iPad third generation. This is going to be operating on Verizon's 3G network. However, I have tested FaceTime over LTE. And since the speeds are so fast, uh, the quality is really good and it's pretty much like it is over Wi-Fi. It pretty much works just like it does over Wi-Fi. So I'm not going to be showing uh, that in this video. And this video is going to be focused on 3G. Uh, then we've got AT&T running on their 4G network, which is just basically 3G. Uh, anyway, it's just a marketing term. So we're going to see how well it works. But I think uh, the big reason that Apple's adding this feature in iOS 6 is because there will be hopefully an uh, LTE-enabled iPhone released later this year, and I think that's the, the device that you would want to use this feature with, not necessarily over a 3G or 4G network. But nonetheless, we're going to test it out. We're going to see how well it works and uh, what kind of performance we get. So let's go ahead and back out of here, and we're going to go ahead and initiate the FaceTime call on my iPad. We're going to call the iPhone 4S. So now that the FaceTime call has finally been initiated, we're going to take a look at how good the quality is. What we're taking a look at right now is the rear-facing camera on my iPhone 4S, and it's being displayed here right on the iPad 3rd generation. So I'm going to move the rear-facing camera around, and we're going to take a look at how good the quality is and how much of a delay and lag there might be. So I'm moving the camera around right now. And, I mean, it's not bad. There is, yes, a little bit of a delay, but that's to be expected. This net, uh, 3G networks are really not that fast at all. Um, you know, I would say the quality isn't amazing, but I like what Apple has done to still make the experience uh, quite enjoyable, and it's not too bad overall. So that has been a look at FaceTime over 3G networks coming in iOS 6. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please like it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.